Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me video and I'm going to do a very simple makeup look just because I'm going out to eat with some friends so I don't want to look too glammed out. So I'm going to show you guys my newly updated everyday makeup look. Okay, I'm going to put this headband on so um, I don't have my hair in my face. I know, very cute, right? So first I'm going to prime my lips. And I'm going to use the, the Honey Saver from the brand Pharmacy. It's an all-in-one skin repair salve. So I'm going to use this on my lips because I love how moisturizing it is. Then I'm just going to go ahead and use the Glossier Priming Moisturizer to prime my skin. And I'm running kind of low on this, unfortunately, so I need to order a new one soon. I love the Priming Moisturizer just because it's really sensitive on my skin and it really helps tone down the redness I like to use this kind of like a moisturizer as well as a primer just because it's so hydrating and I have like really dry skin and I'm just going to spray my skin with the Mario Badescu rose water okay the foundation I'm going to be using today is the Dr. Jar Ceramidin Day Tint and I have the small sample size of this but I've been loving it and the sample has been lasting me a very long time as well. I love this because it's literally like a moisturizer but it has the perfect tint to it. And then I'm also going to mix that with the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint. This is my holy grail product. I have this one in the shade dark because I ran out of my medium and light shade so I'm just going to work with this one and I'm going to add a couple drops of it into the Dr. Jart foundation just because I got a little bit of a tan when I went on my trip to California. This is like the perfect mixture if you want to look dewy. So I'm just going to load up my beauty blender with this and pat this all over my face. This combination makes my skin look so healthy and hydrated next I'm going to use the NARS creamy radiant concealer in the shade custard and I'm going to use this to conceal my under eyes I like to just dab a little bit right near where I have like the darkest spots and then I blend it outwards and work with it. And I'm just going to use my beauty blender to do this. I also don't like to put this too close to my lash line because I feel like it makes my eyes look like extremely fake. And I feel like when you have a little bit of your um, dark circle showing, it just looks a lot more like effortless and natural. Even though I know a lot of people tend to hate their dark circles and then I'm just gonna go back and add a little bit more wherever I need it I'm also going to dab this on the spots that I need a little bit more coverage on so how has everyone been How's everyone's life been going? Anything new? To be honest, I kind of miss the weather from California today. It's actually pretty nice out in Michigan, but I'm missing the hot weather of California and the nature. That's like my favorite thing about California. I feel like there's not much to see in Michigan. Like there's literally nothing. Okay, I'm gonna use the Airspun Loose Face Powder to set my entire face. And I'm just going to use my beauty blender to do this. I really wish I could move to California, like, right now. If I could, I would be living there right now. But, I have to finish school, of course. And it's only my first year of college, so I need to stay focused. But I feel like whatever's meant to be will fall into place, so we'll see what happens in the future now 
that I've set my face with that, I'm going to use the Bite Beauty Multi Stick. And this one is in the shade Honey Wheat. This is actually my favorite product that I've ever bought because I even use this product when I'm not wearing any makeup and I feel like it adds a lot of dimension to my face. Gives you that kind of like sunken cheek look. I'm going to use this buffing brush and blend it out even further. So I'm really thinking about doing a lookbook soon. Um, I really want. To do like a spring lookbook with all the type of outfits that I would wear when we have this transition from like winter to spring and like everyone's indecisive on what to wear. I want to do that so hopefully I'll find some free time to do that. I know I will because I love making YouTube videos. This is like really important to me. Next I'm going to use the Tarte um, Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the shade Party. It's this like really pretty mauve pink color. I talked about it in my favorites video. This is my favorite blush. But yeah, back on the topic of YouTube videos, um, I've been really trying to improve the quality of my YouTube videos and my channel, but it's just really discouraging when a lot of people that I know think that I'm going through a phase, and but I still think of it as something serious to me, and I really want to further my career in making YouTube videos, if that makes sense. It really bothers me when some people are like, oh, you're still doing YouTube videos? Like, I wasn't planning on stopping anytime soon. I'm not a quitter, you know? Once I start doing something, if I'm like really motivated, I like go through with it. I can't give up. That was like really off topic and random, but I don't, I don't know. I just needed to let it out. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use the Sephora Luminizing Drops, and this is in the shade Ultra Light. These are the prettiest, like, luminizing drops. Like, this is the prettiest highlighter. It reminds me a lot of the Benefit What's Up highlighter, except this one is, like, a lot cheaper, I think. This one was, like, $12. Like, look at how pretty that highlight is. It's so gorgeous, and it doesn't look too glittery, either. So I'm just putting this on the high points of my face. Lately, oh my gosh, I've been loving the new Drake album. Like, let me tell you, I'm obsessed. I love the song Passion Fruit, Portland, and there was another one. I can't remember the name of it, but I love listening to it. I feel like Drake always comes out with the best album. Next, I'm going to use the Glossier Boy Brow in the shade Brown. And in the shade Brown. And this is also another Holy Grail product that I'm obsessed with. I love that it just adds like the slightest tint. I prefer to keep my eyebrows on the more natural side. Now I'm just using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz to shape out my brows a little bit because I have some sparse areas. Not that many, but a couple. I recently stopped using this just because um, I started using the brow powder again and I haven't used that in like a million years. I used to use that all the time in like middle school and not middle school, like the beginning of high school. I was really obsessed with it and I would always define my eyebrows so much. Like they were literally so thick and when I look back at pictures, I'm like, what were you thinking? <laughs>
Now I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel to um, put them in place. I like to have these front brow hairs like stick out like this and then the rest of them I like to flatten them out so that they don't look like caterpillars. I feel like that bushy brow look just doesn't suit me. I don't know why. I've tried it so many times and it just looks ridiculous. Like it looks like I have caterpillars for eyebrows. I'm going to use the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. Lately I've been loving just putting mascara on like the outer corners of my eyes because I feel like it makes my eyelashes look a lot better and they look a lot less spidery too. When I'm using this mascara brush, I like to flip it around in different ways because see how it has like this little curl to it? So it gives the eyelashes so much dimension. I feel like my face is looking a little too glossy, so I'm going to set my face just the slightest. Okay, I'm just going to use that same Honey Salve, and I'm going to put it all over my lips again, because it kind of disappeared. My lips like soaked it all up because they're so dry. I'm going to use the Generation G lipstick by Glossier and it's in the shade Jam. This is like the prettiest purple shade ever. So I'm putting this all over my lips but I'm putting the most near like the center of my lips that way it gives me like that bitten kind of look. And then I'm going to diffuse the color by going like this. This is the finished makeup look. It's very glowy, natural, dewy, all in my little makeup range <laughs> because you guys know that I love natural looking makeup looks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did then don't forget to leave me a big like down below and subscribe to my channel as well. Thank you guys all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.